bigger isn't necessarily better. Years ago, there was a development project that was that we did that was in Guelph, Ontario. Prior to that, three major brokerages, real estate brokerages, went in there, and out of the 88 units, after three years, they only sold 10 units. There were still 78 units available. So they blamed it on the product. That being said, the small company that I worked with, which was an upstart, called Lifestyle Homes, we went in there, and before we went in there, the president of the company had us go on this special sales training for sales mastery. And while in the class, virtually no one in the room, no one in the classroom, including the teacher, had ever heard of our company. Yes, we were an upstart. However, we had a mission. We had a mission to help our clients without exception. And so when we went in there, we had already blitzed the place. We went in there with an open mind versus a closed mind. And even though we were little, we knew we could achieve and we could help people. And, at, and we knew that we could, we could absolutely match those units. So we tried uh, a completely different type of marketing. It was direct response orientated. And in less, in actually less, in actually 12 days, we sold, we sold the 78 units. We sold it out. Okay. And we took an option on the land, um, built another tower and built another four story tower and sold that as well. So we basically created something out of virtually nothing. So that being said, the point is, if you're going to learn, make sure that you partner with people that are going to invest the time to share you what's really going on. And given the Pareto principle, the 80-20 rule, where 20% of the people get 80% of the results, if you look at the real estate industry with a magnifying glass, you'll see that it's more than 93-7 rule. In other words, 93% of the results are achieved by 7% of the realtors. And those 7%, more often than not, have teams. Because when you think about it, Everyone only has 24 hours a day. So if you go to any large brokerage, by and large, the 93-7 rule applies. That means that as an individual, you're basically competing for 7% of the market out there. That's just the reality. And 50% of the agents at that restaurants that register in Ontario don't help anybody in the first year. And within two years, over 70% of them are out of the business. Those are the real statistics, okay? So, what we have is we have a, a very astute training program that is based on field-tested best practices. We have daily training. And you can opt in, you can opt out. Obviously, if you opt out, you're not gonna get the same results. If you opt in and you actually learn with an open mind, then no one can stop you. On the other hand, if you go in with these limiting paradigms and you don't open up your mind to learning from those that are doing it and those that have done it, then um, all I can say is best wishes. It's your choice. The choices that you make will define your future. So if you're open to learning, contact us. And if not, go join them. See ya. Thank you.